It can be hard to watch something like this without thinking that it's horrible technique and it's going to wind up an injury or at the very least be a complete waste of time. If you saw this kind of behavior from anybody else in a typical gym environment, you'd probably expect to see it wind up on a gym foul compilation. The only difference here is that this is Lu Xiaoyun, who is arguably one of the greatest Olympic weightlifters of all time and a consistent dominant force in the Olympics. He's now nearly 40 years old and will be competing in his fourth Olympic Games. Mind you, this means he's been competing and winning at the absolute highest possible level for more than 12 years, which is absolutely mental when you factor in the longevity of most athletes in highly physical demanding sports like Olympic weightlifting. So what's going on here? This book from Ma Strength on the Chinese approach towards weightlifting explains a few points. In Chinese weightlifting, they have five core words that their approach is built on. Close, fast, low, timing and stable. Fast, as the name suggests, is about the speed of the bar. When the mass of the barbell is fixed, then only by speeding up the athlete's movements can the barbell achieve greater acceleration and hence produce greater force. To speed up the movements, the athlete must rely on the speed of their muscles contraction since faster muscle contraction results in greater energy released and greater weight the athlete can lift. Hence, speeding up the muscle contraction is essential to generating greater force and power. So this applies obviously to the main Olympic lifts, but the same principles also apply to their bodybuilding training lifts. Bodybuilding training is a prominent part of Chinese weightlifting, but I think that categorization is better referring to the exercises chosen as opposed to the actual technique and style of the training itself. If you're trying to build as much muscle as humanly possible, you want to avoid momentum, and maybe even in some cases, avoid too much speed. That is how you can maximize the amount of tension created by your muscles to stimulate muscle growth. But that's not the specific goal here. While the weightlifters are obviously jacked, it's more a byproduct or a side effect of their training and not the direct outcome that they're shooting for. What they want is to improve their brain's ability to activate their muscles as quickly as possible and to move as explosively and as powerfully as possible. Plyometrics or jump training is another typical feature of typical weightlifting programming, including that of the Chinese weightlifters. This is all about building up what they call reactive strength, or the ability to absorb force and move explosively. Looking at something like this, I'd categorize this as bodybuilding exercises performed in a plyometric nature, which is completely fine. You wouldn't look at somebody else doing some broad jumps or box jumps and think, oh, that's such horrible squat technique. Instead, you think that, oh, this is plyometric training using a squat-based exercise. It's intentional and it's for a very specific purpose. And I think that's what's going on here. Plyometric training using a pull-down or a rowing exercise. It's designed to improve your total body coordination and integration of everything to move collectively as one powerful cohesive unit, not to isolate the legs or the back or the biceps to grow. An important takeaway that we can all learn from this is that exercises like pull downs and rows, they're all simply tools and how you use them is up to you. It can be horrifically misapplied if you don't have a good understanding of why you're doing it or you haven't prepared your body to meet the demands of the exercise. But the same can be said for your more traditional technique that you might be used to seeing in a gym environment, not just this plyometric style. Now, this isn't a license to go out there and start replicating this with no regard for your own technique whatsoever, but there is absolutely a time and place to be using this exact style of lifting technique on any exercise that you like. If you need to improve your power, explosiveness, and reactive strength for your sports or performance goals, this would be a completely valid technique. Technique. Just as a quick post-production sidebar, I think it's important to bring something up that creates a lot of confusion within this industry around people creating fear around certain exercises like the upright row or behind neck pull downs. Now, I'm not entirely immune to this as I have spoken in the past on certain exercises providing more stress to the body. And for example, why I like to view barbell exercises as simply another tool that can be used in your toolbox, but are not really essential. But I always follow it up with saying that the body can and will adapt to just about any position or exercise. And as long as you're intelligent in your approach, Approach, you can do just about anything that you like. Exercises like this are not dangerous and anyone who's telling you that is stuck in outdated models of the human body and probably has another agenda instead of seeking the truth and providing up-to-date evidence-based information. On the joint stress side of things with arguments like shoulder impingement being caused by being in elevation and internal rotation with a behind neck pull down or upright row, these things, while they make some sense in theory, they've been found to be heavily unsupported in the research. And Lou, just like many other Olympic weightlifters, along with hundreds of thousands of recreational lifters, are clear examples of this. If you don't wanna do these exercises, you don't have to. If you don't like them or they're uncomfortable, don't do them. They're not essential, and to be honest, there aren't many applications that the majority of people would need to use these exercises on outside of these sporting contexts. But if you like them, keep doing them. What does matter is that you're lifting with some smart parameters around volume intensity and recovery on any exercise. And outside of that, do what you like and have a nice day.